Hello, everybody, and thanks for watching that windy winter woodland photo walk in Marymore Park. I hope you enjoyed that. I know that that uh, windy winter day is not the most typical photo day, but for me, it's a great break. Uh, my brain needed something a little different. I, I needed some quiet, and uh, at the Audubon Bird Loop Trail at Marymore Park is really, really good for that for me. Uh, I've learned to appreciate our uh, blue winter days, and uh, I really, really enjoy especially the architecture of the trees this time of year. Uh, the hardwood trees that lose their leaves, um, they're just bare, and I love framing them against the sky and the different contrast you get. Uh, the, the cool structure of those trees, I, I really, really enjoy that. That's why you saw a lot of photos of those kind of things. Um, also, some birds made, a, made an appearance. Uh, the funny thing about the birds in this, except for the crow, uh, the other birds in this were um, the bird on the fence, uh, especially, and the hawk at the end. So the, the bird on the fence, I noticed that just as I was transitioning from kind of phase one restroom break, phase two, which is I was going to walk around the, the dog park. And uh, so I had my camera already in the bag, so I had to pull it back out. So birds seem to know about that. Same with the hawk at the end. I was literally had my car door open, the bag was on the seat, and then the hawk appears. Uh, so uh, I didn't get a chance to really set up correctly. Uh, the shutter speed was a little slow. I didn't have uh, tracking focus on. I had continuous focus, but not tracking. So the photos aren't super duper sharp, but they're, the light was pretty cool. The bird was amazing. So. It reminds me that there's always one more photo. My favorite answer when whenever students ask how many photos should I take, I always say one more because there's always one more. Speaking of birds, I kind of hope to see some of the herons, those, those big clusters of nests uh, in the kind of middle part of the video. Those are heron nests along a, along a river. Uh, but there were no herons today. Uh, it's pretty wild when they are there. I've seen them once when there's 20 or 30 herons and it's just, it's kind of spooky uh, in a way because they're just kind of uh, interesting and odd shaped birds that we kind of associate with some, especially in those bare trees with the, all, with, with there's so many of them. It's, it's got an interesting vibe to it. And speaking of vibe, you'll notice that I, I played with the vibe in these photos in a couple ways. One, I tended to underexpose a little bit to make it a little more moody. Uh, the second vibe I played with was a little bit with color in processing. So I went a little into the blues. Uh, again, mood, feeling uh, that I wanted to remember from the day, the way the photos felt to me on that day. And so that's why I processed that way. Lots of rhyming there. Uh, and lastly, uh, speaking of, you never know what you're gonna get in nature photography or most types of photography, um, leaning into the wind, literally and figuratively, in, the, in some of these photos with uh, the movement of the, of the leaves and branches and things, playing with a slower shutter speed to see what I could get. I like some of the abstract of that uh, quite a bit. And the fun part of, of that type of photography for me is, you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, every every click is going to be different because the movement is just a little different. Every change of shutter speed setting will potentially change how much movement is happening. So it's it's fun experimenting. It's fun. It feels a little organic because you never know exactly what you're going to get till you look at the back of the screen. So I hope you enjoyed these photos. It was a great break for me. I know I needed it in the busyness of the start of this quarter for me. Uh, in addition to creating a new class at uh, online class at Highline College. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Well, I hope you find some calm and quiet at the beginning of the of this new year in the midst of all the things that seem to be going on in the world, which never seems to slow down. So I'm so grateful for photography. I'm grateful for you all out there. Thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate your comments. If you have thoughts and suggestions, as always, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very, very much. Uh, if you have a friend or two or 10 that you think might enjoy this video, if you'd share that along with them, also greatly appreciate that. It's fun growing this community and seeing uh, some regulars here. I really enjoy connecting with you all. So thank you very, very much. Ah, I think I'm going back to Bellevue next week, so look forward to that. Uh, I might do a little twist on the street photography vibe, depending on weather. I have an idea to accommodate that. So uh, until then, uh, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now.